So why is there so many people are turning to their own backyard for a mini retreat? You know what, today it's not really hard for people to really understand why. All you gotta think about is how fast culture is moving. People have never been more stressed out. We've, all, we've, we've got all these technological advances that were supposed to buy us time. And all we did was fill in the space with, with doing more stuff. So there's never been a greater need for people to find a place of rest. But unfortunately, in the old days, going to a, you know, a cabin in the woods or a little beach house somewhere, it's an impossibility for most people now because time being one factor, money being the other, and even going on vacation. I mean, I've got four daughters, my wife and I, we come back from vacation, we walk in the front door of our house, we collapse and go, wow, we need a vacation from our vacation. It doesn't take, it is not really hard to, f to figure out why most people are going, wow, that backyard, I don't have to travel to go out there, that can be my resort, that sounds awesome. So what's the secret to creating an outdoor oasis in your own backyard? If there's one thing I'll say to people, here's a secret. Get the deck designed. Do not settle for the old square, square boring rectangular box. There's something that has no dramatic appeal to it. It's not drawing you out into that space. The deck that I'm sitting here in, in Toronto on this beautiful day is the epitome of what I'm talking about. You have got a deck that is right out of the box. It's all circles and curves. It's something that is totally creative. And on this deck, you've got a separate lounge area. For, you have a fire pit area, you have an outdoor kitchen, you have a dining zone, you have a hot tub zone, you have a four season room. I mean, just take any of these elements and tie it into your own backyard, but do it in a way like you're taking those indoor elements and bringing them to the outside. So what are some design considerations that we should keep in mind? Hey, you know what? Change levels, have some fun. Get out of the box, curve the decking. I mean, these are all really simple items, but if you're gonna talk about just when it comes to materials, think about maintenance. The maintenance factor is huge. You wouldn't go to a resort if someone handed you a margarita and then said, hey, when you're done, would you mind painting the cabana? You wouldn't go back to that resort. What is the point of going into your own backyard space when all you're doing is looking around thinking of all the maintenance you have to do? That's why I partnered with a company called Trex. This product right here is a decking called Transcend, and it truly does transcend. I mean, this is a decking that 25 years down the road, it's gonna look exactly the same as the day you put it in, and the only thing you have to do is wash it like you wash your car every now and then. No more standing, no more stripping, no more restaining. That's the kind of stuff that just, you know, when you go out in the backyard, you're like, oh, I wanna relax, but I'm too busy thinking about maintenance. That sounds great. What are some of the top trends you're seeing this year? You know what, LED lighting is a really huge trend. More and more people are understanding, hey, I can use the deck at night too, and I don't have to just settle for that big light off the back of my house. I can create the same type of ambience that I would expect going into a restaurant, going into a jazz club. You know, really, really cool lighting that draws you into that space, very important. Furnishings, very, very cool. I mean, you're talking about back in the day, they just had plastic furniture. Now you've got furniture that's for the outdoors that you could see in your own living room inside the house. That's really cool. Railing systems that are not just boring, railing systems that are glass, that are, that are aluminum, that are also low maintenance. I mean, the sky is the limit. Pergolas, gazebos, water features, fire features. I could talk forever on the cool products that are available today. All right, everything's available, but let's talk money. Can we make these awesome upgrades on a budget? You know what, you really can. I mean, it's, uh, let's, let's take a real prime example. So many people have an existing deck, and that existing deck has got a firm structure, but the deck surface is all rotten boards, and they've you know, been restained about 30 times or just been left to rot away, and the same with the railing system. In a two-day two time frame, you can take those deck boards off, you can take the railing off, you can put down new deck boards, new low-maintenance deck boards, and a new railing system, throw in some LED lights, and you've got a dramatically transformed backyard space that you're not, have, you're not having to maintain to the same degree that you did with stripping and sanding the old deck. And two days, and you've kept the money down. Super, super common thing to do. And where can I send my viewers for more information? Definitely check out, check out trex.com, T-R-E-X.com. You'll see loads of ideas. You'll get a good idea what I'm talking about.